Parts of Ohio are in totality, and we want to take a live look. This is from Lima, and you can see, oh my, did it just get brighter? Wow, or did, that's the okay. corona so now right there. Yeah, and, and it looks like they're zooming in just a bit. But this is, this is phenomenal, and here's what I'm thinking, Colleen, for people who aren't interested in this, because it took a while for me to get interested. How, oh. many, how many people are taking a moment right now? Okay, here we go. We're gonna give them a moment yeah. right now. Everybody, just soak it in. Oh, well, we'll get there in just a second. But here, here's what I was thinking, Colleen. How many people who, you know, were going, ah, this isn't my thing. I'm not too big on science. But I, I had to stop and I paused and I thought, how many people throughout the country are pausing, paying attention to this? A and universal we're, and we're, moment. And we're all united yeah. under, under one event. And it I think is that's a universal cool. moment. Look at that, just a sliver of the sun left. And we're going to remind you, we have a special filter on mm -hmm. this camera. You cannot just turn your camera yeah, not a good toward idea. this because it will ruin your lens. Here we go. Oh, look at that. So this is the NBC4 Eclipse camera. In and Morrow County. In Morrow County, yeah. And so you can see it. Oh, goodness. Oh, there it is. Yeah. Inching over. Almost totality. It, it really is remarkable to watch it go over and realize it's going to be total darkness. You know, uh, 30 seconds to totality. Isn't it amazing how and we can we'll do a watch countdown it to this? And then we'll watch move over. Yeah, And exactly. we've been counting down for, for months now, but here we are. <laughs> Our countdown is, is going to finish in 18 seconds. Again, this is in Morrow County where totality is assured. There were parts of Ohio that were certain to be under it, and here it comes. In less than 10 seconds, you will see the sun disappear. Talk about a science lesson. This is incredible. And... Go. Well, this is pretty incredible. We are outside of the NBC4 studios here on Olin Tandry River Road. It's Carrie, Colleen, Ben, and Christine. What are you guys thinking? This is stunning. Even I mean, though, yeah, Ben, isn't it incredible? Yeah, we're about 99.8 to 99.9 .9 moments ago. We're just starting to see the sun emerge. Ben, you were saying, yeah, the, now the sun is beginning to reappear, but moments ago, and we were about 99.8% outside our studios, but it definitely got almost as dark as night, and it's just absolutely spectacular. It, it leaves you speechless. We've I'll been talking for a while about how it was suddenly turning dark outside, mm -hmm. and yet when I stepped outside the studios, <laughs> it was like, wow, it's dark out here. Colleen, I was thinking it was time to make our dinner <laughs> run. Yeah, yeah this, is, this is sweet. And the temperature dropped from 74 to 68. Yeah, I can feel the difference and yeah. the breeze has picked up and the birds have gone quiet. Christine Barconi is out here with us as well. Uh, what are your thoughts? This is this is incredible. I've never experienced obviously anything like this before. The automatic lights went out in front of the studio as well. People across the street, we can see them kind of hanging out in front of their workplaces. It's kind of a, just a moment of togetherness. It's awesome. 
That's one of the things we talked about, that because Ohio, most of Ohio is in totality, we are all experiencing that universal moment. People are watching this from home. They're gathering together, as we know, at the zoo, at the park, at COSI, and people are experiencing what is really a natural phenomenon, and yet it still takes us, uh, we have awe for what we're looking at, don't we? I got to tell you, the producer is saying totality is ending. You, you got to wrap up. Will, we don't want to wrap. This we, is pretty. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> I can't hear her. How about you, Carrie? <laughs> this is, yeah. Uh, <laughs> guys, we're going to take you north of Columbus to Cleveland, Ohio, where it is now in totality. So our friends there off the lake are taking this all in as we are joining in this experience together. It's pretty cool. I do want to remind everyone all throughout the evening we're going to have response reaction from all of the points that we're at today because people are really enjoying this experience and Matt and Monica and McKenna you guys you you have totality right at the zoo. Oh, oh my gosh, gosh. that, it, that was, was awesome. fantastic. It was like, that was so cool. Uh, a spiritual experience. It was, really, yeah. it was so amazing. It was really cool. You know, we had the kids out here, they're counting down. Yeah. 10, yeah. nine, yeah. it was like early. the ball drop. Yeah. Yeah. So they did it like six or seven times and then it yeah. finally All hit and it was like, hit. whoa, yeah. Yeah. this is awesome. Ellie, what you glasses think? off. I think it was good. Yeah, that yeah. was cool. That was so pretty cool. The ring fire effect and what we've been talking about too, which a lot of you have probably seen, just that little sliver of light lets so much light in. Yes. So the second it crosses into that path of totality, is just amazing. Yeah. Even like, this is wild, where it's starting yeah. to get bright again. Just like that. And it's still it just, just a sliver. It's crazy. Yeah. Mm -hmm. This is amazing. Yeah. yeah. And we're going to check in on the animals here soon. Yeah, so that'll just be in cool. a bit. Yeah, yeah. we got to figure out how they did yep. it. Yep. Back to you guys. So cool, guys. Hey, hey guys, we are uh, <laughs> coming through. You, you all are familiar with Studio B. We were out front, so now, now we just got inside. And yeah. we are taking a, a oh, look at the screen right here. Shot. This is so sweet. I mean, this is a science lesson. Yeah. That, yeah. that folks are having all throughout the country. And when you think yeah. that yeah. Ohio students couldn't have done this for the last couple of hundred years, <laughs> we, we, are, we are appreciative that so many schools let kids have the day off so that they could be with their families and take all of this in. 